Hola a todos y bienvenidos a Español 1B para DPR. Hi everybody and welcome to Spanish 1B for DPR. En este video vamos a ver, in this video we will see. First, we'll do a little welcome or welcome back to our returning students. Then we'll do a quick tour of DPR's curriculum portal on Teachable. We will have a look at our syllabus for this class. Y por último, vamos a empezar con un poquito de español. Lastly, we will begin with a little Spanish. Pero antes de nada, hola. Before anything else, hello. Me llamo Ana. My name is Ana. Yo soy de Nueva York. I'm from New York. Pero viví dos años en España but I lived for two years in Spain, that there is a picture of Madrid, if anybody knows it. Okay. Bueno, primero vamos a ver un poco de cómo funciona el curso. So first we're going to see a little bit how our class works. Okay, so every week we're going to have, first, a pre-class video prep lesson. So every week we'll have a video that we watched before class it will introduce the topic of the week and it will give you some of the tools you need to come ready to class, ready to get talking right away. So you'll already be coming in with the language that you need. Then we will have our face-to-face -face core class twice a week. So face-to-face, -face, that means that we're going to be talking together uh, in our Zoom classroom. This will be twice a week. And then we will have a third day every week that is just for construction language practice. So we are really going to focus there on the, the language that you'll be using at the workplace and practicing just that. We have an online curriculum on a platform called Teachable, which is where you will find all of your course materials. And lastly, we have a class discussion board on Padlet. And we're gonna look at both of those things in just a minute. Okay. So jumping right in with Teachable, I'm going to go ahead and open that page so you can see. Okay, so when you log in, let me bring us back to the main page. This is what you'll see. So we have our course curriculum. The first section here is resources for students. And the very first document that you will find is our class syllabus. So what are we going to do in the next 12 weeks? Bueno, pues semana uno a conocernos. Week one, we're getting to know each other. Vamos a repasar, we're going to review, los saludos y presentaciones, greetings and introductions. Y vamos a ver los dos verbos saber y conocer. And we'll see the two verbs for, for to know in Spanish, saber and conocer. Semana dos, ¿cómo es o cómo está? How is it? We'll look at ser versus estar, and we'll use them to describe, compare, and talk about emotions and conditions. Semana tres. Tengo hambre. Tengo prisa. I'm hungry. I'm in a rush. We will make comparisons with tener, and we will also learn some idiomatic expressions using that verb. Semana cuatro va a ser repaso. Week four is going to be review. Semana cinco, la rutina. Week five, routines. We'll talk about daily routines and chronology and use some reflexive verbs. Semana seis, el tiempo y las estaciones, the weather and seasons. We will also talk about clothing this week. Semana siete, ¿qué están haciendo? What are they doing? We will look at some vocabulary from the song Bailando by Enrique Iglesias. And we'll also look at the present progressive tense. Semana ocho, otra semana de repaso, another review week. Semana nueve, ¿te gusta? Do you like? We'll talk about food and flavors. And we will look at the verb gustar and similar verbs. Semana diez, en la cocina y los restaurantes, in the kitchen and at restaurants. We'll talk about giving and following directions and the present perfect tense. Semana once, ¿qué pasó? What happened? 
We'll talk about ordering in a restaurant, and we will look at the completed past tense. We'll also look at por and para, words meaning to or in order to, or for. And semana 12, our last week will be a review. Okay, so that's what we'll be doing uh, over the course of our class. And let's see, we have a couple more uh, resources here to review. One that I would like to highlight is we have a pronunciation workshop. So if you want to jump in right away with your Spanish speaking and work on your pronunciation and your accent, we have some resources for you to do that. So you can open up this page. And here we have a series of videos that deal with different elements of Spanish pronunciation, starting with the alphabet and then moving through the different sounds. So I definitely re recommend that you check these out. They are really handy and they'll help you hit the ground running with your pronunciation. Okay, the next thing we have is our class discussion board on Padlet. So as we said, this is where our conversation for class is gonna be taking place. And I can open here, this is last session's Padlet. So you can see just how fun, how colorful it is. They've posted a whole lot of different things. They've got some videos, some music, looks like somebody's been to Spain. Um, and we will have a couple of activities over the course of our class that will be taking place on Padlet. So you'll get some instructions uh, in the near future about how to set that up. Just know that it's there. You can find our Zoom links for class on the Teachable page as well. Those won't go anywhere. They will always be there. And then finally down here, we get into our actual class content. So you can see that we're going to go week by week here. And you will find our videos, our weekly handout. This is where we're going to find the majority of our new language points and some of our activities to practice. We'll also have an audio so you can listen to the whole handout for pronunciation. And then down at the bottom, we have some vocabulary flashcards. These are another great place to start if you're eager to get started with your learning. Uh, we have a number of phrases here and you will see the English. If you click on the card, you can see the Spanish. And clicking up here on the audio, you can hear pronunciation. Buenos dias. Okay. We also have various study modes here. For example, you can do these as a matching game and you need to select the correct answers to make everything disappear. So you can explore these a little bit and figure out what's the best way to study for you. And lastly, we'll have a video Buenas tardes. that starts right away uh, for a class recap. Okay. So, Returning to where we were. We saw our Padlet. Okay, ahora estamos listos para un poquito de español. We are ready for a little bit of Spanish. Entonces, so, nuestro primer tema, our first topic is saber o conocer. Okay, these two verbs mean to know, pero ojo, Careful, porque sus significados son un poco distintos. Their meanings are a little different. Entonces, vamos a ver algunos ejemplos. We're going to see some examples. Y quiero que se fijen en las diferencias que hay. I want you to pay attention to the differences between these two verbs. Okay, our first example. Yo sé dónde está la estación de tren. I know where the train station is. Our second. Yo conozco una muy buena taquería por la zona. I know a really good ta taco shop in the area. And our last sentence, voy a menudo porque yo no sé cocinar tacos. I go there often because I don't know how to cook tacos. Okay, good. So we have a couple of sentences with ser, a couple with conocer. So. ¿Qué diferencia hay? What's the difference? Okay, so saber, we're going to use in two different contexts. The first is when we're saying we know facts or information, right? So my sentence about the train station was this type of sentence. Yo sé 
¿Dónde está? I know where it is. That's information. We can also use saber to talk about skills or abilities. So when I say I know how to do something, like for example, yo sé conocer, con, excuse me, cocinar tacos. I know how to cook tacos. That's this use of saber. On the other hand, we have conocer. Conocer can mean kind of like to meet a person or to get to know a place like a city. Oh, excuse me, that's a second. So to, to get to know a person, yo conozco al presidente, or to be familiar with a place. Yo quiero conocer Argentina, or yo conozco una buena taquería. Okay, so saber, we have facts, information, or skills, and conocer, we have meeting a person, knowing a person, or knowing, being familiar with a place. Okay, ahora, Te toca. It's your turn. For each sentence here, should we say saber o conocer? Okay, first, yo sé o yo conozco a unas personas de Cuba. So I know some people from Cuba. Yo quiero saber ese país o yo quiero conocer ese país. I want to get to know that country. Yo sé que el béisbol es muy importante ahí. I know that baseball is very important there. Pero yo no sé o no conozco jugar. But I don't know how to play. Okay. So, si quieren, if you want to, pon en pausa al video. Put the video on pause and go ahead and figure out your answers. And then we will check. Okay. So I'm hoping you had a chance to, to look at those. And here we go. Okay, primero, yo conozco a unas personas de Cuba. I know some people from Cuba. We're going to say conocer for people. Yo quiero conocer ese país. Okay, to get to know the country. Again, we're using conocer. Yo sé que el béisbol es muy importante ahí. Okay, baseball is important there. That's a fact, so I'm going to use saber. And lastly, pero yo no sé jugar, but I don't know how to play. That's a skill, so again, we we'll use saber. Okay, excelente. Pues eso termina nuestra primer, primera lección. That finishes our first lesson. Y ahora vamos al Padlet para presentaciones. We will do some introductions on Padlet. So, when you have your account set up, you can go ahead and make your first post answering the following questions. Primero, ¿cómo te llamas? What's your name? Okay. Segundo, ¿de dónde eres? Where are you from? And lastly, ¿dónde vives ahora? Where do you live now? Okay. And I'm realizing now that we should give you some language to answer these questions. So just a moment. Okay, so for our first question here, como te llamas, you can say, me llamo, my name is. For our second question, de donde eres, you can say, yo soy de, I am from. And our last question, where do you live now? You can say, Ahora, now, vivo en, I live in, okay, excellent. Bueno, entonces, antes de nuestra clase, what do we have to do before class? First, read your welcome email from FLC. You should uh, make sure that you have that. It'll have some important information to get you set up for class. Second, access your Teachable and explore your new curriculum and resources. So go ahead and sign in there and see what you can find. Um, third, post on our Padlet, okay, just as we saw. And lastly, you can get started with those week one vocabulary flashcards that we saw. Just a reminder, that's on the Teachable page and you can get started practicing. Okay, hasta aquí bien, all good up to here. Gracias, and y 
Nos vemos el lunes en clase. Thank you and I'll see you all on Monday for class. Okay, hasta entonces. Adiós. <laughs>